this with the other class. Let's see if we do this. And I'm going to take, I'm going to give this to you. And I'm going to have you stand up. And I will give this to you. And you stand up. Now everybody else has to sit down. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this laser and we are going, I'm going to actually bounce it off of that mirror. And then you're going to turn it so it goes to that mirror. Hold, hold on your chest though so it doesn't yes. get close to your eyes. Yeah, like right here. And then you're going to take that and then you're going to try to hit me right back here. Okay. <laughs> right. All right, so we'll get the lights here. All right, we'll see if we can get this to work. All right, yeah, we don't want to look at this because it's very strong weight. Now, can you see where that's going? Can you see it? I'll try. Keep it low. Ah, there you there go. go. There you go. Oh, really still. Hold your breath. Hold this real still, too. Oh. Now, can you get over here? Oh, 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 very good. Good job. Okay, you did it. Good job. All right. So, good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Okay, so we learned, thank you, we learned that normal white light, if I sprayed that, remember it, it scattered the light and so it kind of went out like this, but are the colors there? They're there. Can you, can you see them? You can't usually see them. There's a special kind of thing here. Does anybody know what this is called? It's glass, and there's three sides. Sometimes there's more than three sides. A prism. Very good. What is a prism used for? Anybody have any idea? Hmm? Yeah, you can make the colors of the rainbow. That's right. And so what it's doing, the color spectrum. The spectrum is a name for... It's a scientist's name for the, the different wavelengths put together. The color spectrum is, is where it spreads all that light out. Instead of that white light, it actually focuses it and spreads it out so you can see all the different colors. And a prism, where might you see a prism? Anybody ever seen a prism? Prism? A prism. Prism. Yes. Oh, like on a light? Like on a light. Very good. What? A real, really fancy light, like a chandelier, huh? Yeah, there's a whole bunch of them usually. And what happens when the light hits it? Um, it goes on the wall. If there's lots of these hanging on the light, you get lots of them all over the room, right? Okay, and some, does it have to be the light from the lamp that makes it real, real neat? Sometimes, what happens coming in through the window? Yeah, the sunlight. That's right, the sunlight will hit the prism, and the colors will come out. Now, that won't, this won't work really, really well. I'm going to turn and get the lights here. And you will see, if I use this, if I get turned just right, up oh, wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Okay, so you see the red and the orange and the yellow and the green and the blue and the violet. And we'll throw indigo in there. What's the, did I ask you guys what the name of that guy is that in, that you can remember all the colors of the rainbow? What's it? Roy G. Biff. Very good. He's a famous guy. People talk about him a lot. Okay, he's a good guy to remember because he'll help you remember the, the names of the colors of the rainbow. Red, or Roy, R, O is orange, Y is yellow, G is green, B is blue, and I is indigo. indigo, and V. Very good. So that'll help you remember the names of all the different colors of the rainbow.